Hey everyone, just doing a quick video. Uh, yesterday, I think I said yesterday or the day before, a friend of mine sent me that a squirrel in Colorado got tested for the blue bonnet plague and tested positive. Who tested it? Why did they test it for that? Or is it the COVID-19 test that tests for everything and you think you have COVID-19 when you test positive? People are going to flip about this and it's gonna get more crazy if they try to push this. Don't get crazy, okay? Don't do this. Don't, don't allow any more fear to make you react and have crazy behaviors. The negativity on this planet's just so high right now and you gotta stay balanced, guys, and you've got to think critically about things, okay? Because this is stupid, okay? It's just stupid. Um, I think a guy in another country before the squirrel a couple of weeks ago or something, he tested for the blue bonnet plague as well. I mean, if it makes you feel better, look up thieves oil, make thieves oil, diffuse it, put it on your hands, whatever makes you feel more balanced, but do not give in to the masks. Do not comply. Do not submit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not submitting. I'm actually such a pain in the ass that probably places won't let me come back. But I'm not like this guy I saw in a video where I run into a Walmart and act all crazy because I don't want to wear a mask. But I am, I'm educating people every chance I get, whether they listen or not. And that's what we need to do. The social distancing for humans is, um, well, it's tragic and it's going to cause a whole lot of MK Ultra behavior because humans need touch and love and communication. Um, the six foot distance is gonna keep people from being able to come together to revolt, to let their cities and their council people and all that stuff know that they are not gonna comply. It's time for us all to stand up and not in a rioting stupid way. In a mature, we are humans, we are individuals, we are sovereign beings and we're just not gonna take it anymore. They're gonna start locking the states up. I looked on a map last night and the states that they have in red that they want to shut down were all the southern states, including mine. I really hope you guys all start thinking about this stuff. Masks don't protect you and they don't protect other people. Um, and I'm gonna say it again, and I'm getting ready to do a video on an herb that will help with oxygen saturation problems. The masks are preventing oxygen saturation. Uh, the iron oxide coming from planets, and I don't call them planets, I call them meteors, um, systems that are coming in, the iron oxide is very high, which is a radiation form for the human body. Oxygen saturation problems. The G causes oxygen, oxygen saturation problems. Say that three times really fast. It's time for you all to think clearly on what you can do. Uh, I talked about DMOX. I've talked about um, MMS. I'm going to do a video on another product that you can purchase that helps with oxygen in the body. You guys are going to have to do your, you know, your due diligence and realize that you need to combat everything that's coming towards you instead of just complying and saying, Ah, oh, sir, yes, I do whatever you say. No, don't do that. I'm not doing that. Don't do that. And don't fear. Oh my God, these tests, they, these COVID-19 tests, they're testing for everything. And if you would just realize that if you got a flu shot, I'm gonna say in the last eight to 10 years, you have these viruses in you and you need to look up exosomes and you need to learn up how toxicity works in the body. Yes, your immune system is very important, but there's a lot more going on here. Don't comply, guys. Call lawyers. See what you can do. It's time for us to fight back in a respectable way until it can't be respectable anymore. And we're having to defend our homes and our families because we allowed all of this. Letting you guys go. Have a great day. I'll do a video tomorrow on the other thing you can do to help with oxygen saturation problems. There, I said it right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.